All right, I am standing here in a shower with Michael Goldstein, also known as the Mensch with the Wrench here on the north side. Michael, this isn't awkward at all, is Not it? Not even a little bit. Okay, we're gonna do a little project today called a toilet tune-up. Michael, why don't you tell us about it? We are going to replace some of the insides here. This large piece right here is called the fill valve. This is an old style one that has a big ball on the end. We're gonna replace it with a new modern style that has uh, more of a tower and then a cylinder that goes up, okay. does the same thing. This is uh, a little bit easier to work with than um, tuning up these old ones. And we're gonna address the issue of the flapper. If you have a, a trickling toilet and then it'll later flush, it usually means the seal on the flapper has gone bad and we're gonna fix these up and get the toilet running new again. To do that, we'll need a new universal toilet fill valve and a new flapper, a utility knife and a bucket, slip joint adjustable pliers, sponge, and some paper towels. All right, you ready to show us the first step? Yes, the most important thing we're gonna do in this project is shut off the water. Okay. If you don't shut off the water, you're gonna flood your bathroom. Okay, that's so, recipe for disaster right exactly. there. Exactly. So the first thing we're gonna do is reach down here, okay. and there's a shut off valve. Yours might look like this. It might have a smaller knob, which just goes in a quarter turn. Now we're gonna flush the toilet, drain the water out, and in order to keep going, I'm gonna just sop up all the water with a sponge into a bucket so we don't get it all over the floor. Michael unscrews the ball floater to get a better angle and sops up the rest of the water. Then he removes the hose that leads from the wall to the toilet. It'll get a little wet, so stick a bucket down there and have some towels handy. Once the water is gone, we can move on to the actual fixes. First up, replacing the fill valve. There are a couple reasons you do this. If your tank is very slow to refill or constantly refilling itself, it's probably the fill valve. A new universal unit costs about $10 and is simple to replace, starting with removing the old one. To do so, we're gonna disconnect this hose, which is going into the overflow tube. Just pull it out like that. And then under here, there's a nut that's connecting this tower looking piece to the bowl itself. Set that piece aside. All right, so believe it or not, we are ready to put in the new one. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna separate um, this washer. And we're gonna do that by cutting out the inside, and this is all in the instructions, so you can follow it step by step. Okay. We are going to place this rubber washer, this, which is gonna seal the fill valve to the tank. Then we're going to slide this little locking mechanism up. This allows us to adjust the height of the fill valve. How do you know what height you need to have it in your toilet? I usually like to bring it up to the top of the tank. So we're gonna place that in there, and you wanna make sure that this hose connector right here, this little nipple, is facing outward. Sure so you can um, attach the hose later. So now we're gonna take our nut and okay. we're going to fasten the fill valve to the tank. And we're just gonna hand tighten it, make sure it's nice and snug. Then we cut the overflow hose to length, attach one end of the connector and aim the other end into the overflow tube. Now that we got the fill valve connected up here, we have to connect it back to the plumbing. Okay. So I'm gonna go down here and we're going to reconnect our hose. In this case, we have a flexible toilet hose, so it's pretty easy to do. And then once we turn the water back on, we'll check for leaks. Since the tank is dry right now, we're gonna go ahead and replace the flapper as well. So this is the old flapper. Yep. And it just has a chain connecting it. I'll have to replace that at some point in time. Exactly. And the trick when you do a flapper is um, you wanna make sure the chain is taut. The new flapper goes in the same way the old one came out. And like Michael said, the chain from the flapper to the lever needs to be taut. Otherwise, you'll have to stand there and hold the handle down when you flush. And now for the test. Okay. Ready? Fill her up. So it's definitely filling much faster than it was. Yes, it is. And that's all because of the, the fill valve. Fill valve. Yep. So what we're going to have to do is, when, as it's filling, we're going to have to adjust the height. In a lot of the tanks, there's going to be a water line. In here, we're just using the old water line. Okay. You can see the brown. So by adjusting this little knob here, it's going to allow us to adjust the height and the amount of water that it lets in and out. Michael also double checks that the flapper is doing its job, letting water in on the flush and sealing when it's supposed to. We replaced the fill valve and the flapper in just about 20 minutes and for only 20 bucks. Man, that was easy.